Hello guys and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this, this is actually a MacBook guys and today I'm bringing you my top five MacBook tips for you MacBook owners out there. Now these are my top five tips so take them with a pinch of salt and do them if you feel like they'll be necessary for your life. Guys, let's get into it. So guys, this is my 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna start out with my top five tips on things to do with MacBooks. Now these are things in the OS and these are also accessories, but guys, let's kick this off in no particular order here at number five. So you guys can see my screen now. So my first tip to you guys is actually in the OS and it's with the thing you interact with the most on the Mac the dock. So when you get a Mac, the, the dock is there visible 100% of the time, but we don't want it there visible. We want to enjoy our full screen web pages and our content that we have open on the Mac. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to the Mac. We're also going to right click on it right now, and then we're going to click on turn hiding on. This is then going to hide the dock and uh, well, to get the dock back, you have to put your mouse to the bottom of the MacBook. Pretty simple, right? Here's the next thing. We're then gonna right click on the dock again and we're gonna go to position on screen and I like to have mine on the left, but you could have yours on the right. The reason we do this is because most things on the computer, i.e. a web page, scroll down. Nothing is off to the side, so if you put your dock off to the side, it's out the way. It's there, peace of mind, you know where it is, but it's, it's out the way. But there's one more thing I like to do to my dock too, and to do that, you're gonna have to open terminal. Right guys, with the terminal window open, and just so you can see the before and after of what we're going to do here, just put your mouse over to the dock. And you see that slight delay before the dock appears when you put the mouse there? We want the dock to come up instantly. So in the description guys, there's gonna be a code. Paste that into your terminal, like so, and then click enter. And then as you can see, things go a little bit mental, all the programs will come up, but that's fine, just close them down. And now as you can see guys, if we go over to the dock, it's also randomly changed my wallpaper, you can just change it back afterwards, don't worry, it's not gonna harm your Mac in any way, shape or form. Now if you put the mouse over to the dock, as you can see, it comes up instantaneously. That is tip number five. All in number five Three was that one. Three for one. Three for Again. one, all in number five. You're getting some bargains that Alex is super safe. <laughs> wait, for what's, wait for what's coming up next. Let's do number four. So number four is a really simple one, guys. So obviously when you're in the iMessage app on your app store and you're writing a message, there's a little picture of a smiley face. You can click on that and you get instant access to all of Apple's emojis, which is absolutely brilliant. But what if you are, let's say, in Google or wanting to put a YouTube comment out or a Facebook post out or a tweet and you want to get some emojis up in there without using your phone or going and copying and pasting the emoji from the emoji wiki. To demonstrate this, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and open a quick incognito window and get myself over to Google here and what you're gonna go ahead and do is do control command space on the keyboard and as you can see that opens up an emoj window as to where you can choose all of the images you want absolutely fine and look at that straight away it's just brought me to the emojipedia where most people just go and copy and paste their emojis no more all you have to do control command space boom so guys, let's jump down to number three. So guys, put yourself in my boots. 2017 and you've wanted a new laptop and you've obviously gone out and you've bought the Touch Bar MacBook Pro, or 2018 now. And you've uh, you've got home and you've wanted to plug in your old, you know, USB devices and, uh, well, you can't. You've wanted to plug in an HDTV via HDMI and, you can't. Or even worse, you've bought the really thin MacBook, not the Pro, and it's only got one USB-C port, so if you want to charge this thing and plug something else into it at the same time, you're just absolutely screwed. Introduce the Nucleum. This thing, this thing actually works. And the reason I say actually works is because, well, this is a USB-C hub, but like no other, because like I said, it actually works. Now, I've had this MacBook for over a year now, and um, throughout that period, I've bought numerous, numerous, numerous adapters, USB-C adapters, and they always start out being great, and I'm like, oh, this one's good, but then they're the plastic, and they break, and then the, the card reader will break on them, or the HDMI port will stop working, or the 
pass-through ports will stop working. This one, now this one is from a company called Kingston. They're a big sponsor on our YouTube channel and I absolutely love this product. So these USB-C hubs, all of them, and this Kingston one aren't cheap. However, this one actually works. So you spend the money on these other really expensive ones on Amazon or whatever, and they work for a little bit and then they just break, but this one is really, really good. So Kingston have been a massive sponsor of our YouTube channel TechFlow, and for that we thank them. And when I heard that they were working on the Nucleum, I was really, really, really excited and asked them to send one out. So I've been using, obviously, cheapo little Chinese adapters from Amazon, like these little USB hub things for my laptop, and as I say, they work great, they're expensive, but then they always end up breaking because they're cheap and plastic, but this one is actually really, really good. And as you can see, I've got it running here, our actual audio audio setup for TechFlow. But here, as you can see, we've got a nice solid connector, USB-C connector going in to the MacBook, followed by a really, really, really thick, sturdy cable. And then it goes into this lovely shell with the Nucleum branding on it. Now, what can you do with this thing? Well, it actually has a port dedicated for charging pass-through. So you can plug your MacBook's USB-C charger straight into there, and away you go for charging. You're gonna get the full speed of your charger straight through. This port is just for charging. And then we've got our old school USB port here. This is a USB 3 port, which is currently running our whole audio setup here. And on the front of it here, we also have an HDMI connection. Turning this thing over, you can see that it actually has the proper certified HDMI branding. So you know that this thing is gonna pass all of the DHCP markings and it's gonna communicate with your TV fine. Just for retrospect, I've bought devices, USB-C hubs for the MacBook on Amazon before, and they've got HDMI ports on them and they work fine up to 1080p, but at 4K, they struggle or don't work at all. This one, 4K, works absolutely fine, as you'd expect. It's Kingston. And then here, as you can see, you've got another USB-C port. Obviously, a lot of devices are USB-C now, so having a USB-C port available is brilliant. And then you have another normal USB hub. And then this is a big one for me, being a creative myself, dealing with lots of cameras. There, I call that my drone card. And here, I call that my camera card, because I can plug my drone straight into this micro SD card slot, and then my big cameras into this normal SD card slot here and the read and write speeds are that of an inbuilt card reader in a MacBook or a USB card reader for a computer running at full USB 3 speeds. These you're importing in no time. So guys, that is the Nucleum. We'll drop links to that in the description. Now I know Kingston are a sponsor of the channel, but we only have good sponsors on TechFlow. This product is the bomb. It just works. And if you spend all of that money on a MacBook or a USB-C machine and you're wanting to get a little bit more out of it on the port front, I really, really can't say enough good things about this adapter. It just works. So guys, number two, I love listening to music on my MacBook, and for that mainly I use Tidal and Spotify, but for this, I'm gonna use Spotify for ease. Now guys, as you can hear, the MacBook speakers, if they're pushed up all the way, sound pretty good, don't they? And that's because they have some pretty good speakers in these machines. But the reason they sound pretty good is because, well, Apple don't let you push them all the way to the max. So let me show you how to do that with a little program called Boom. So I've been using Boom for like the past three years of my life and I was like a Boom ambassador when it first came out. I, I used to use Boom when nobody knew about it and now I don't know if it's free anymore but it's on the App Store and it's definitely worth it. I bought it back in the day as I say when it was free. All you have to do is click no more Mac volume, right? And then click no more here and it's going to ask you to download the plugin which we're going to do right now. And then guys, what we're gonna go ahead and do is put my Touch ID to install this little plugin right here, and it's gonna take about five seconds to do that. You're also gonna have to go into your system preferences and, uh, well, allow it to happen by clicking this little allow button right here. And that little noise means that we're done, and now, well, annoyingly, you have to click restart. And now guys, you've restarted your Mac, you're ready to go ahead and launch Boom, and as you can see, once it's launched, it just appears in the top corner really nicely. So let's go ahead and open our music choice. So guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put the Mac volume up to halfway, right? And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn on Boom using the little clicker right here. Right, nothing's happened. But now what we do is we move this slider all the way up. 
and now we push the mat volume up. Listen to this. That is so much louder. I'm having to shout so you can hear me. This is a laptop. And because Apple do put really quality components inside of their machines, the speakers do not distort whatsoever. That's what I mean, you can push these speakers to more than what Apple let you and they will be fine. And then it also comes with an equalizer, so if you want more bass, you can literally do a bass boost. And obviously this works out of the headphone jack as well. Guys, if you love your audio, Boom is definitely a little hack for you. Let's move on to number one, my most used little hack. So guys, there's a really very powerful application that you can download on the internet called Caffeine for your Mac. I've used it for a long time, but I don't use it anymore. I use a new app that I found recently. And this one, well, it's called Amphetamine. This one is really, really cool. Let's launch it. So as you can see guys, up in the top corner, now next to my boom icon, is a little coffee cup. And uh, the way you activate this is you go over to it and you use two fingers and you simply double click. And there you go. Now it's activated. The computer won't sleep. And you're probably thinking, Alex, how is this better than the previous software you just mentioned that everybody already knows about. Well, if you single tap on it, you get a whole load of options. Now this can be a little bit intimidating to start with because there's, well, there's a lot of options here, but you can do it indefinitely, you can do it for the matter of minutes, you can do it for hours, you can choose a custom time or while a certain app is running, this will automatically activate itself. So actually this is really useful for me. The only time I want this really to run is when I'm, when I'm editing videos. So I set this while an app is running to come on automatically when my Premiere Pro or my Final Cut is open and it just does it automatically and the Mac won't sleep while those apps are running and then when I close those apps, this app just turns itself off and the Mac will sleep. You can also go into the quick settings and allow all of these different things to happen too and then also if you go into the preferences, you can go ahead and look at the display and appearance which I like. You can have a coffee cup, you can have a coffee mug, you can have pills, you can have tea kettles, you can have owls, you can have eyes. This app is just leaps and bounds better than anything else that keeps your Mac awake. And uh, it's free, we'll put the download link in the description. But guys, that's been my top tips for a MacBook bought in 2017 with the USB ports on it. This has been The Nucleum, I wanna thank Kingston for sponsoring today's episode. This thing is absolutely awesome and it is my new daily hub for USB devices and interfacing with my MacBook and plus, it matches. Guys, my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow. Drop a like on the video if you want more videos like this, top tips, my favorite apps, or whatever, let us know in the comments. And uh, tell you what, put an, put an emoji down in the comments with the, with the hack I told you at number four. See if it works, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.